You know I want to close my trunk and any interference I can notice so strange. Trunk lid seal goes away from its place and it looks very old and warm, but in normal condition. So you don't want to spend money for the new one. You can spend your money better elsewhere. And besides which, we can put this one into its place. So we don't want to got high-end one, we want to put this old. And our lid can be closed without interference again. But if you were actually buying one, I don't think you'd be a fool buying the new seal for that trunk. Let's put the old one into its correct position. Patrick's Garage And you see airways where goes air from car interior, hot air goes out through these airways and hot air and melted the snow under the rear window right in this place where our trunk lid seal. So snow and water and ice can be melted and frozen again with our seal. And in winter when I want to open the trunk, our seal tears out from the lid. The seal you see was installed or maybe replaced by previous owners, you see. And let's correct our seal a little bit. As you notice, we need a handy tool to not damage our seal and at the same time not scratching this gap and this our lid. You see, a little bit rusty here, this gap, but it in good condition. I'm sure you'll probably agree that we should be cautiously at maximum. And this way we can install it into its correct place. We don't know which Preds decided to make these airways right here. So we only try to do everything in our power. We just get used to, to these improvements in quotes. Since uh, 70s, you know, in 60s, uh, there is no these airways. But truly say, weather also can be different from day to day. Sun can melt at the snow and snow can be frozen late in cold temp. And the same way we can't open the trunk. Anyway, most of this work will have to be done on your own. And be really cautious to not scratching and damaging the rubber. And you know you do it for yourself. So you can go through these boring difficulties more easier thinking about that. You know this rubber seal for the trunk interchangeable for 140 series and earlier models uh, from early 60s from 240 series, you know, before they changed the design of the trunk lid to 40 series. So you can use this uh, rubber seal from 240 series, so if you have Volvo 140 series, you can take this trunk lid seal from Volvo 240 series from the junkyard probably. You know I bought the, the seal from 240 series and installed it for my 1969. So these parts interchangeable like door seals you know that we can use uh, all door seals from 240 series from all years and they Install to 140 series, uh, you know, I bought from Volvo 240 series and installed all seals for this Volvo 140 series. I really hope we're not going to install this rubber seal so often in winter. It will be so boring, but we do it for ourselves. And we should install it for our own reasons. We don't water penetrates inside our trunk and wet 
groceries. We don't want to find wet groceries in our trunk. So they seal prevent penetration of dust and water into our trunk. And this probably inspires you and me. And I really don't know how to incentivize you to do the same work with your car. But maybe you watching this video and you gladly can to do this work with your car. You know, after annoying work like this, you anticipate good result as a reward. And we hope that water can't penetrate into our trunk. And we want to believe it will be so. And by the way, we can encounter with difficulties only in this case, when this gap will be rust away. This holder for our rubber seal rusted away, we can't install it. But you're not going to quit, you know, on the doors at the lower part, the same gap for installation, this seal. So I added a little bit of glue in the place where it rusted away completely. Yes, this seal was installed or maybe replaced by previous owners. That's been done long before. And now this seal not so bad. Maybe they decided it's better to change it ahead of time, but this is not so bad. But I have to admit that I lazy and I don't want to replace this drunk lead seal. And at the same time it will be stupid of me not to put this rubber into its gap so it will be installed correctly and not falls down again. And what uh, will be better not open the trunk when it cold or just keep to install this uh, seal into its place all the time. You know in later Volvo models this uh, seal was installed not into the lid but to the body. So it not going to tear out when it frozen. Now you know I'm not too anxious about buying and installing new OEM parts, so now we can use this old one a lot of time, I think. Oh, this one in good shape, I think, why buy it? And probably you don't need it in most situations, especially if this uh, seal in good condition like this. And later I'm not going to buy the new seal for that one. And yes, since we're old, so we're reluctant to buy new parts for our cars. We don't want to spend money, extra money. But yes, is it to say that John, I bought a lot of spare parts and I storing them in the boxes. So well, now we install this uh, seal and uh, I decided to leave it as it is. So we'll leave it alone in this condition for the time being. What interesting, when guys uh, install these seals, they invariably using a screwdriver, slot screwdriver. But truly say it will be better to use uh, any plastic tools to not scratching the metal and not to getting the edge of the rubber. So we need to be very careful. Always more cheaper to fix up old stuff, not buying any new parts. <laughs> and from my experience, the quality of Nowadays produced uh, rubber seals for that trunk, it ain't what it used to be. Maybe if you live in a snow belt, you worried about quality trunk lead seats, so it not tear out all the time. 
And now, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch you in the next one.